Yes, guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Oh my word. <laughs> got this absolutely stunning GT4 RS, and we've got another one over here twinning very nicely. And then we've got a 992 GT3 with a 992 GT3 RS. I mean, how epic does that look? Pretty sick turnout here. And we also missed an SF90, a modified one, which I would have loved to have shown you guys. But uh, yeah, we've also got an Aventador over there. Very, very cool uh, lineup here. I think I'm gonna go down there and get some pulls as we pass the 992 GT3 RS. Oh, that 458 sounds so good. Sure, so that was pretty random. Um, <laughs> yeah, a bit weird uh, turn of events because we were actually on a BMW run which ended just down the road over there and then we stumbled across some of the supercars over here. I think it was the Group A run or something like that. But uh, yeah, I have no idea what the plan is for today. Um, absolutely no idea. I didn't get to show you guys anything from the breakfast run, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, a bit of a random day. Might go back to Sea Point and do a bit of spotting. Uh, let's just see where this video takes us because it's pretty random at this point. So yes, we're here with uh, Ramia and Sashin. Uh, yeah, so I'm not too sure what's going to happen as I mentioned. But yeah, let's just take it as it comes. Yes guys, so I'm here in Sea Point at the moment, uh, gonna do a bit of spotting, we've got a GT4 RS just randomly parked over there, I think it's the uh, same one that we saw uh, at the Group A run, but uh, yeah, I'm not too sure how many cars we're gonna spot around today because it is the uh, Cape Town 7s rugby at the moment, um, that way, so yeah, traffic is quite bad, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad this side, so we'll see what we can spot. Lovely little combo this, we've got a G80 over there. And that V10 Plus. Got this lovely F12 coming through. Gotta love the sound of the 458, man. Sure. Looks like this one's also got a spoiler on it. Yes, here's that 992 GC3 RS again. Sure. That has such road presence. That's insane, man. Love to see that out. And we've got this F12 again. Looking lovely, but look who we also have. Mr. Ryan. In his GTI. Peeping for the cars. Waiting for them to come past. There you go. Got this blacked out GT3 Touring over here. Yeah, see, we've got a 991.2 GC3 RS in Lizard Green. Yeah, see. Tell him he's ugly. Yay! Got the new M2. Still haven't come around to it yet, but uh, tip to. 
Yeah, well, let's wait for some modified ones because uh, yeah, I'm still not still not digging it, eh? And we've got the 992 GT3 RS once again. Can't stop looking at it though, yes. so uh, yeah, of course I'm going to include it. The incredible title fight. Jeez, well that's not something you see every day. 996 uh, Safari car made in South Africa. Sure, that's wild. The Aston Martin DBS 770 Ultimate. The only one that's uh, in South Africa, and I think the only one that will uh, ever be in South Africa. You can see with all the aero bits and whatnot on it. Uh, yeah, this is a seriously, seriously epic spot as there are only 300 coupes that will ever be made. Uh, yeah, seriously, seriously special. And you can see how much glitter there is in the, in the paintwork. That's pretty astonishing. And so much carbon fiber as well. Very, very cool car. Looks like JP van der Spey is out in a few of his cars today. The Speciale and the 296. I'm glad to see the Speciale back. I'm sure you guys will remember that it was uh, in quite a hectic accident. There it goes. Lovely GLS 600 Maybach. Yes, look at this combo. We've got the Misha and we've got the Speciale. So we're just here behind Daytona at their parking lot where they've got a few cars. I just want to show you one or two before we end the vlog. Firstly being this McLaren 650S because it's not just any 650S. This is actually the MSO edition, which if I'm not mistaken, they only made about 50 in the world, two of which being in South Africa. Uh, this one, as you can see, is a Spider. I think the other one is a black one, which is a Coupe. So I think this is basically just color wheels um, and a few other options that sort of make this car special. But moving along, we've got a Aston Martin DBS over here. And you're probably wondering why I am showing you this car, but it is quite special because it is the elusive manual variant, which is quite rare. You don't come across too many of them in manual. Um, and then one more car I want to show you if we just squeeze it's this 650s right here now this isn't a special edition or anything but it is special to me because this is actually the very very first supercar that i ever ever got to uh go in as a passenger and experience so yeah this brings back a lot of memories very very special to see this thing back here um it was sitting on gold wheels now it's on the original black wheels which is quite nice and i actually prefer it like that but yeah lovely lovely to see this car again but i hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless and uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a few more coming along as summer is in full swing, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.